What is going on everybody? Justin here with Alpha Watch. And today I want to be explaining something that I've got to ask quite a lot from people walking up on jobs and buddies of mine that are thinking about getting into the pressure washing industry and things like that. So when you got a pressure washer, there's two different numbers that you have to look at. You got to look at gallons per minute and PSI. So we're going to go ahead and write both of those on the board. So GPM stands for gallons per minute. And PSI stands for pounds per square inch. So that's gonna be how much pressure something's putting out. All right, so this is the analogy that I always use. So think of it like this. So gallons per minute is what's gonna make a pressure washer cost more. So a two and a half gallon per minute to a five gallon per minute, that's a significant cost difference. You can get a two and a half gallon minute for somewhere around 250 to 350 bucks. Up to a five gallon per minute, you're gonna spend somewhere around 1500 to 1600 bucks. And then you jump up to an eight gallon per minute, which is what most professionals use in the exterior cleaning, pressure washing industry is an eight gallon per minute. And an eight gallon per minute is gonna cost you somewhere around 2,500 to three grand, depending on uh, what brand you go with and things like that. So the analogy that I always like to use is, all right, think about gallons per minute like this. Think about a flat surface, let's say a hood of a car, for example. Let's say we put a little pile of dirt on the hood of this car. And then let's take a cup of water and then let's get five gallons of water in a five gallon bucket. So we got the cup and we've got our five gallon bucket. So let's actually say there's two hoods sitting beside each other. We got two car hoods, car hood, car hood. Little dirt on it, little dirt on it. And then we've got a cup of water and then we've got five gallons of water. All right, so here's the difference. We can pour this cup on there at one time. That's one cup of water. And that's probably going to get rid of about maybe half of the dirt. Whereas if we pour this five gallon bucket of water on there at one time, five gallons of water going onto a surface at one time, that's going to wipe away all that dirt. And that's going to be enough water to rinse it all the way off the edge of the hood. So there's your main difference versus putting out a little bit of water versus a lot of water. So when you're putting out an eight gallon, uh, when you're using an eight gallon per minute machine, you're putting out way more water than you are with a two and a half gallon per minute machine. Both of them can be 3000 PSI, putting out the same amount of pressure, pounds per square inch, but they're not putting out the same amount of water. And the, and the way that you get pressure in the gallons per minute is based on the orifice size. So to get 3000 PSI out of a two and a half gallon per minute machine, you're gonna to have to use a much smaller orifice size because much less water is coming through the hole. So it has to be a much smaller hole to build that pressure for it. Where an eight gallon per minute has to be a much bigger orifice size tip because there's much more water coming out of it, but it can still get to that three 3000 PSI range with a bigger orifice because it's got so much more water coming through it. So I hope my little analogy here with the cup and the five gallon bucket can help and make it easy to understand. So more water is faster. Uh, pressure is not really that important. So when you're looking to buy a pressure washer, pay much more attention to the gallons per minute than you do the PSI. And that's gonna and, and make a huge difference in the amount of time it takes you to clean things with your pressure washer. So always just remember the hood analogy, pour a cup of water on something versus pour a whole five gallons of water on something. You're gonna clean it way faster with the whole five gallons of water. So hope y'all can find some value in this. If you like the content, make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you'll be notified every time we post. We appreciate y'all and we'll catch y'all later.